hey, I want to give you four quick tips to be able to sell t-shirts slightly faster than maybe what you're selling now. But before I do, I want to tell you some cool videos that are actually coming on this channel. Because I want to, I want to get you guys riled up and excited, I'm so excited for what's to come with this YouTube channel. I'm currently creating videos or plans for videos uh, on creating Shopify stores for print-on-demand, creating Etsy stores for print-on-demand, and a whole creating an Instagram business with a, a Shopify store, the whole long process without spending any money on ads, the whole story case study. I've got all of these incredible videos in the works right now. And my most favorite one coming is a five-part series on the business side of creating a print-on-demand business, but as well as the business side, everything. So five-part series is finding niches, designing a product, doing the advertising, all of it. All of that is coming to this YouTube channel really, really soon. So if you haven't already subscribed, then now is a brilliant time to hit that subscribe button because there's just such awesome content coming out. And if you have subscribed, hit that bell notification so you can watch those videos first. And lastly, before I get into the four things that will help you get more sales, let me just ask you, let's try and get this video to 500 likes. I know that's pretty ballsy, that's a big ask, but let's see what we can do. If we can get this video to 500 likes, maybe I will do another video where I look at your t-shirts and I actually critique them and I tell you what I think, how you can improve them, what's wrong with them, why they're maybe not getting sales. But first, I want to see if this video can get to 500 likes. So now, without further ado, let's get on to this, the main part of this video, the four quick tips on how to get faster or more sales for your print-on-demand business. Tip number one, trends, right? Hot topics, current events. These are brilliant times to go and create a t-shirt. And no, I don't mean, you know, this pandemic coronavirus kind of t-shirt trends. I don't mean that. I personally don't feel it's so ethical to make money off of, you know, all of this just bad news. But when I say trends, I mean, you know, there are, there, oh gosh, there are so many trends. For example, a big, well, not this isn't a trend, but it's a big thing coming up is Father's Day. And I've spoken about this before. Father's Day, you should definitely take advantage of that. And I know in a lot of my videos, I talk about trying to create evergreen t-shirts, but if we're talking about trying to get fast sales, get quick sales, get lots of sales, like in a quick, in a quick period of time, then hitting on trends, hitting on current events like Father's Day is a brilliant way to do this. And you can use websites like Google Trends. That is amazing. But m better than that, you've got just social media. You can look at Instagram. You can look at TikTok. You can see what's going viral. You've got YouTube trending. You've got so many of these different, you've got so many different places to see what is currently trending. Uh, do you remember fidget spinners? Do you remember, uh, what was it? The, the Pokemon Go app. Yeah. There are a lot of trends that happen all the time and there is absolutely no reason why you can't take advantage of those trends. Now, bear in mind, when if you do that, you might get a, a few a bursts of sales, but it's not gonna be evergreen. Okay, and that's not what this video is. This video isn't teaching you how to create evergreen designs that will hopefully make you money in years to come. It's just showing you how to make money here and now a very short period of time, right? Literally just hitting on a trend. So that's that's number one. Number two, your designs have got to be really, really, really good. Okay, I can't say really enough because the amount of designs that I see that are really subpar, they're not that good. A lot of the people who are messaging me on Instagram, I'm seeing the designs and I'm just like, there's so much improvement that can be made here. So have a look at some of these designs, right? These are insane. They're really, really good. They did not take them 20 minutes. They took them a long time. They either paid someone to do them. They probably used Photoshop, but like they are, they're just brilliant designs. Okay. They've actually had a lot of thought put into them. Now I'm not saying you need to use Photoshop. You've got things like Canva. You've got things like place it, mock up, um, design a t-shirt thing, which I'm going to do a video on later. But if you don't want to use Photoshop, you do, you do have other, areas you can do five you can pay someone what my point is though don't just create a design send it to a friend and ask them if they think it's any good because chances are they're probably going to say to you yeah it's cool they don't want to tell you it's not good um but like you know what i did i was brutally honest with you and i said if your design was crap or if your design wasn't crap and 
I want you to try and create the best designs possible because it makes a massive difference, especially nowadays. People realize when something has taken someone 10 or 15 minutes to make and they don't want to have anything to do with them. Show off your skills or show off someone's skills, right? Pay someone to make a good design, but make sure if you're selling something, a t-shirt or, or if you're doing print on demand with like pillows or socks or anything, make sure that they are really, really good designs. The third thing is using high quality mock-ups. Okay, you can pretty much create an entire Instagram channel just based off the mock-ups using Placeit. Okay, Placeit is a brilliant website. And I actually wanted to say, if you want me to create a full tutorial, nothing long, nothing crazy, not like this hour, two hour of tutorials, like 20 minutes maybe, uh, of, of how to use Placeit, why it's so good, how to create designs in it, and how to actually find good mock-ups that work with your you know, niche, then let me know in the comments down below because I do want to make a Placeit video for you. I just don't know if you guys want to see it. But Basically, mock-ups are a brilliant way to diversify you from everyone else. And I know a lot of people kind of realize that, oh, this is just a fake guy wearing a t-shirt. But on the other hand, there are a lot of people who want to see a model wearing the t-shirt because they can look at it and you know imagine what they would look like wearing this t-shirt based on what this person looks like, right? Based on the size and where it would fit and how it would fall, all that kind of stuff. So that's why I think mock-ups are really, really good. And not only that, the the library, right, on Placeit specifically, is so vast, you could literally create an entire Instagram channel just using different mock-ups of t-shirts, men, women, pillows, socks, duvets, whatever they may be, mugs, it's endless. iPhone cases, oh, okay, it's absolutely endless. And I do think by doing this, not only do you have an abundance of material and content you can use, especially if you're doing this the free methods, like building up an Instagram account, but I do think it will definitely add another dimension to your, you know, your social media campaigns and all these kind of things, rather than just post a t-shirt, plain t-shirt every single time over and over again. You post sometimes with a guy, sometimes with a girl, sometimes with two people, sometimes with a car in the background, sometimes here, sometimes there. You know, it kind of mixes the whole thing up. And sometimes you don't even need a t-shirt in any of your posts, but just subtle hints here and there and it, it, it goes a long way, okay? It really goes a long way. It shows, it shows a level of professionalism that a lot of people aren't taking advantage of, okay? And just a quick tip, and I'll talk more about this in the Placeit um, tutorial if that's something you wanna see, is don't necessarily choose the most popular mock-ups that people are using because as weird as it sounds, if someone has seen this mock-up on someone else's t-shirt, they might be like, oh, this, this is a bit weird. I've seen this exact same picture, but with another t-shirt on, this seems a bit fake. So you want to try and find those special like golden nugget mock-ups that people don't really use so much um, that kind of feel a bit more unique. And now finally, the fourth quick tip to try and get more sales faster. There's a lot of keywords in that right there. Um, to, try and get sales faster with your print on demand is upload your designs to as many platforms as possible. Why not? You know the saying, don't put your eggs in one basket. Well, don't put your t-shirt on one website. You've got, I've got a list here because you know, there's a lot of them, but you've got Etsy, Redbubble, Teespring, Amazon Merch, you've got Zazzle, you've got, basically you've got a lot. And you know, off the top of my head, I can't even remember half of them, but I'm sure there are at least 10 or maybe even 15 places that you could upload your designs to. And you never know which one could gain traction, right? Could get you sales. And there's no harm in putting it in lots, in lots of places. Let's just quickly recap, all right? The, the first one was you have got to try and hit some trends and like life events. Second one, you have got to make incredible designs. Don't skimp out on designs. And just to quickly add with this, you can do text only designs like this one, right? This is a text only design. It doesn't need tons of graphical, you know, miracle work, but it still works. And you can see the fonts they've used, the way they've used them, the positioning of them still makes it look very, very good. The third one was make sure to use mock-ups and not the most popular mock-ups, but you know, mock-ups. And the fourth one is upload your design to so many different websites that you lose count, basically. Those are the four quick tip ideas. Um, and before I continue, I just want to say, um, have you yet checked out my Instagram account? I'm now posting daily business, like, you know, tips, motivation, that kind of stuff on my Instagram account. I have built this huge, cool theme and it's really exciting. I'm posting little snippet, 60 second videos along with the post every single day to my Instagram. So go and check that out. It'll be the link in the description or you can just go to at shimmymorris1. If you wanna follow me, that would mean the world. But uh, if you don't wanna follow me, that, that's also okay. But definitely go and check it out because I feel like you would uh, really like the stuff and maybe hopefully it will motivate you. 
And uh, yeah, moving on. I know these four ideas seem pretty simple. And look, if you know them, then brilliant. That's really good. You should be uh, using them. And this wasn't going to be some sort of super complicated, in-depth, you know, crazy, oh my gosh, four tips. This is a magic money-making tip. Ah, they, they don't exist, right? There's no get-rich-quick schemes. These four things will still require work. And even if you know them, they're still useful. And maybe you just needed a bit of a push to go and take advantage of them. But like I said, there are some incredible videos coming up on this channel, really, really cool ones. And just to remind you, the five part print on demand business creation series, which is going to blow your minds clean out of your head. It's going to be pretty good. So <laughs> if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you can watch those videos first, because a lot of them will be action based and you want to take advantage of them before thousands of other people go and see them. So hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and look, I hope you like these four quick tips. If you have any more quick tips or any more things you want me to create videos on, let me know in the comments down below. And again, let's try and get this video to 500 likes so I can make one of those review videos of your t-shirts. Thank you so much for watching. This is Thursday. Today is Thursday. I post Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. So hopefully I'll see you on Sunday's video at 5 p.m. Thanks for watching.